Uh, hey everybody! Um, I, again, for one thing, I disappeared for however long that shit was, I have no idea. Um, but as you can see, I'm in a brand new fucking place with a brand new fucking everything, pretty much. Bitch, I'm still fucking here, much to many people's disappointment, I'm sure, but I'm still here. I'm in the new place. There's just been a lot of stuff going on here recently. Actually, this, this month in general is going to be really busy for me. Um, I've been moving. I've been trying to, like, put everything and sort everything and shit like that. Um, I actually have a trip coming up in a couple of weeks, like the first weekend of June. I have a trip. Don't know where I'm going. You're probably like, Shady, what the fuck? How do you not know where you're going when you're going on a trip? It's a long story, okay? And I can't really tell you. Uh, what I can tell you is that it's just like, it's like scheduling conflicts right now. I'm trying to sort everything out. Everybody involved is trying to sort everything out. I don't know what's going on. Um, I probably actually won't know until the week of the trip where exactly I'm going. I'm going to one of two places. I know that much, okay? I know that much. It's either one or the other. And if it goes one way, then I go to one place. If it goes another way, then I go to the other one. I just don't know yet where I'm going. But it's one of two places, and this is going to be a very spontaneous thing. Which is honestly good for me because, you know, I need to live like that more often. I honestly can't wait for that to happen because I need a weekend away doing fun shit with cool fucking people. I need that. Anyway, I'm going to pick up it with the Q&A today. Again, there's no rhyme or reason to how I'm picking these. I'm just going down and answering questions. I do like to skip around a little bit so it doesn't get so monotonous. And Let's see. Uh, Noah... Magana. Mag, 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 Megan. I don't know why I even try. I really don't. Uh, aside from Negan, since he's obvious, who are your favorite villains from The Walking Dead? Uh, they can either be from the comics or TV show. Uh, also, you're very pretty and love your defenses for Negan. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're one of the rare ones who like that I defend Negan. But actually, you know what? Honestly, you all, and I'm not even joking when I say this, I'm completely 100% honest with you here. Negan is the only villain I have ever liked. Um, I hated the governor, absolutely despised him. I hated the governor, I hated the scavengers or the cannibals, I hated the wolves or whatever the fuck they were in the comic. Like, I hated, I hated all of them. Um, I hated, uh, I, I absolutely, you all, I fucking hate the whisperers. I fucking hate their guts, I hate all of them. Like, I, I don't, I don't like the villains ever. Which is why it was so weird for me when I fell head over heels in love with Negan. Um, Negan is the only villain that I have ever liked. So, <laughs> weren't expecting that, were you? Tom Tomic? Oh my god, why do you all have such... <sighs> Listen, I thought my name was hard to pronounce and deal with, but good lord. Chrissyek. Chrissyek? Chrissyek? Good. I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. What do you think about... The, uh, what do you think about good guy Negan and his relationship with Rick in the comics? Do you believe in great happy endings with them hanging around like two best buddies? Um, I absolutely love Rick and Negan's relationship in the comics. I think it's fucking amazing. Um, I, you know, they're obviously at the moment, they're not skipping around, holding hands, being best friends. But, I do think that they have kind of come to a mutual understanding like dude i fucking saved your life when i could have killed you i sat in your cell when i could have broke out multiple times you know i could have done all this shit and i didn't and then rick's like okay he's right he didn't do that he didn't do that he didn't do that and he saved my life okay maybe not so bad evil as i thought maybe we could work this out my fucking what the fuck um you know i think whenever negan brought him out his head that really, like, solidified a lot of, like, trust in him because, like, why would he do that if he wasn't trying to help? You know what I mean? Uh, Isaac Welch, other than Negan, who is your favorite character, whether it's a seasonal character or a series character? My favorite character other than Negan... Oh my god, dude. It's so hard. Because I have a tie between four. It's, like, Rick, Negan, Michonne, and Carl are, like, my all-time favorites. I love them all. Probably Rick. I'd say Rick is my favorite other than Negan. Um, I, I do, like I said, I adore all of them, like those four. They're my everything. But if I had to pick who's my favorite after Negan, it'd probably be Rick. Even though people think I hate him. Look, the body pillow you all is right here. I sleep with him every night. He's right fucking here. If I hated Rick Grimes, why would I lie there and like this be the first thing I wake up to every morning? Like the fuck? I don't hate him at all. I adore Rick. It's just like, I'm just having some issues with it right now is all. 
Vicente René Segal. Oh my god. Let's see. Uh, hi Shady, I've seen all your videos because I love your reactions. Oh, thank you so much. I Honestly, kudos to you for sitting through every video I've ever made. Like, crossed. Good on you, honey. Uh, thank you very much. My questions are all about music. Okay. Great. I love music. Favorite bands. Oh my god. Um, okay. My favorite bands are... Oh shit. I, my mind just went blank. Okay. Alice in Chains. There's one. Um, Alice in Chains. Uh, I'm gonna count Marilyn Manson because he technically has a band. It's just like... Fucking... Oh shit. Oh, Nine Inch Nails? Fucking duh! What the hell? Okay. Nirvana. Um... The, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Chevelle, as of recently, the Rollins Band, uh, which I've been, in, I've been into them before, I've known them for a long time, but as of recently, for a reason, I've been super into that band. Corn, I really like Corn, um, like old Corn, not any of the new shit. Do you play an instrument? I don't, I have tried many times in my life to pick up an instrument and learn how to play it, and bitch, I cannot fucking do it. And favorite song ever. Oh my god, dude. These are both so fucking hard. Probably a Johnny Cash song. I don't know which one. Actually, yes, I do. Uh, Man in Black by Johnny Cash is, like, my all-time favorite song. Just because it's so fucking badass and relatable and fucking amazing and just... Like, Johnny Cash is one of my heroes. I fucking love that man to death. So, that one. Devin Jones, do you like Comic Negan or TV Show Negan? I love them both. I love them both in different ways. The Dusk, I know you'll probably say Jeopardy Morgan is irreplaceable, but which other actor do you think would have nailed the role of Negan? Pretend Jeffrey doesn't exist. Okay, for one thing, I can't pretend like Jeff doesn't exist. That's impossible. I will ignore for the moment that he's playing Negan and trying to answer your question. Actually, this is funny that uh, this question is on here, because as of recently, um, I have kind of, uh, developed a bit of an obsession- no, it's not- okay, it's not an obsession yet. A thing- I've kind of got a thing, um, for Henry Rollins, uh, as of lately. Um, and if you are somebody who has been in the Negan fandom for a while, then you would have known that, uh, Charlie Adlard, who works on the comic books with Kirkman, actually based Negan uh, off of Henry Rollins, like, literally based Comic Negan, like, his face and everything, like, all that shit off of Henry Rollins. Um, he did actually audition for Negan on the show and did not get it. This is what's so fucking crazy. You can literally be the dude that they based the character off of, and Jeffrey Dean Morgan is still gonna take that shit from you. Like, <laughs> how fucking amazing is that? Like, you can literally be the dude that like, inspired the character and not get the part. What? I know that Henry is an actor and he's done, you know, movies and shows and shit. Um, and he's actually, and he's a comedian. I didn't know that either. And I've, like, been watching all his, like, comedy specials over the last, like, week or so. And he's so fucking hilarious. Um, but just because he's the person that they base the character off of, um, I still prefer Jeffrey. Um, I know a lot of people, like, wanted John Hamm, wanted this person, wanted that person. Now that Jeffrey's done it, I honestly, I just can't see anybody else. I don't want anybody else. Uh, Mr. Jen Rummy, Beta versus Negan, how epic will that fight be and do you think be- blah, blah, Do you think Beta will be the one to kill Negan in the rematch? For one thing, don't speak of Negan's death. Please don't do that to me. Um, especially in conjunction with Beta, because I've also mentioned how much I hate the Whispers, how much I hate all of them, particularly Alpha and Beta. I fucking hate their asses, and I hope they burn in hell. Um, but Beta versus Negan, I- you know what? Negan is not gonna let that motherfucker be the one to kill him. He's not gonna let that shit happen. Negan won't let that happen. I believe that completely. Beta! You know what Beta is? Beta is a punk-ass bitch. That's what Beta is. Beta is a fucking punk ass bitch who was so fucking whipped by Alpha that he like it. He bitch. He ain't even no. He ain't no fucking man. He ain't no fucking nothing. Okay. Beta is a punk ass bitch, and I hate his ass. And I can't wait for him to die. And like I said, burn in hell for eternity once he's gone. Fuck you, motherfucker. I fucking hate that son of a bitch, dude. God damn it. But no, he ain't gonna kill Negan. Fuck that shit. 
Fuck that fucking shit. I'll tell you what, if Kirkman does that motherfucker, I swear to God, Kirkman, I swear to God, son, I swear to God. C? Capri C? Capri C? C. There's a lot of C's in there. Your thoughts on Rashawn and do their relationship meet your expectations? Um, I fucking love Rashawn. Everybody knows this. I've been, you all, I've been one of the originals that's like been championing that shit from the beginning. Like, you know, I, I was that girl. Y'all remember people used to hate on me for Rick and Michonne all the time and tell me that was never gonna happen and look, what happened? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, like, I've, I've been with those two since the fucking get-go, bitch. And I love them. Um, and their relationship does meet my expectations. They're constantly like, just doing things that I never thought I'd get to see them do, you know, like the cuddling and the kissing and the fucking, fucking bitch, like, oh man, I fucking, it's great. Uh, let's see, John Gardner, uh, you're very pretty, thanks. Um, and what do you think will happen in season 8 with Jadis and the scavengers? That's another punk ass bitch, Jadis. I fucking hate that bitch, dude. What the fuck is even up with her? I, I hate them. The garbage people, dude, I fucking hate them. I hate them too. I hate them all. I hate them all. I hate them all. But I hate her. I don't like her and I don't like any of them. I fucking hate them. Um, and, and again, I hope they fucking die or like wander off into obscurity and never come back. I don't know what I think will happen with them. I mean, I hope that they get dealt with and fucking die in the war or some shit or just get fucking obliterated. I hope Negan starts throwing those fucking grenades their direction. Please. See, that one otaku girl, 13. Hey. Um, hi Shady. Hello. <laughs> um. Who do you love more, Negan or Rashawn? Oh my god, um, love you, you're amazing. I love you too. It's like you did my two favorite things and put them up against each other. Okay, look, I'm, I'm gonna do it this way. Rick and Rashawn, they have each other to love, right? Negan has nobody to love or anybody to love him, so I'm going to pick Negan. <laughs> um, because I can't, you all, Negan's like my favorite thing ever. I can't, I love Rick and Rashawn, but bitch, it's Negan. <laughs> Big <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Boyd Prouder, do you think Carol will have her suicide uh, by Walker death like in the comics? I think it's totally possible um, because Carol's kind of been going like, you know, she's been going all over the place here lately and, um, you know, it's clear she's struggling with a lot of shit. So I think it's completely possible for her to get that death. Uh, Star, hey. Um, what's your favorite episode? I love you, by the way, girl. I love you too. Uh, my favorite episode. Um, I've always said in these Q&As that my favorite episode was the very first ever episode, the pilot. I think, like, one of my new favorite, it's like, I really loved the season premiere of season 7, um, and I really loved episode 7 of season 7, because that was Negan and Carl the Sanctuary, and the premiere was obviously Negan and all that other shit that happened. I loved the first episode of the season because it was just so, like, it was so spot on with, like, it was just so filled with Negan and all the, like, amazing shit from the comics, and I was just, like, losing my mind. So, um, I think that may be a new favorite. Um, let's see, Brandon, uh, 1207, how much do you love Negan on a scale from Rick love for Negan, which is zero, <laughs> or Lucille's love for Negan, which is a ten? Um, I definitely have a Lucille love for Negan, um, I love him just about as much as you could possibly love somebody, I think. So, yeah. Christina loves MJ forever. Um, what was it like meeting Jeffrey Dean Morgan? He's a hottie with fire emojis. <laughs> True. Um, let's see. Uh, what was it like? Well, again, I have a whole video where I fangirl about that. But, uh, yeah, I have a whole video about it. But it was fucking amazing. It was honestly one of the best things that ever happened to me. You all don't even know. You don't even know. You just, you just, if you only knew. It was like, oh, it's, it's just, it's been the best thing ever. Um, but he's a fucking sweetheart. He's so sweet. He's fucking hilarious. He's just, oh god, he's adorable. I fucking love him so much. Amazing. And if you ever get the chance, Christina, to see him, please take that opportunity because, bitch, you will, oh man. One last one for this one, and then I will pick up with the other ones in the next one. Again, if I promised you I'd get yours in this part, I didn't. I'm so sorry. But I'm just really overwhelmed, and I can't remember. Um, Jack FBI, why are you indifferent to Daryl? I wanted to answer this one last, because, uh, or just in general, because I get this question all the time. Why am I indifferent to Daryl? Because 
uh, much like it happens in movies and shows, um, and just things like that in general, the choices that they make to characters affect how you feel about them, obviously. And the changes that they've made to Daryl are uh, disappointing, because they've kind of turned him into I don't really know what. He doesn't really do much of anything, he just kind of is just there. Um, you know, he just rides around on the motorcycle and tries, you know, looks cool and shit, and that's about it. Like, you know, he doesn't, there's not really any character there anymore, there's not really any development for him anymore, and I feel like they're just beating a dead horse with him at this point. Like, but, you know, I think that Daryl's time has come, you know, time and time again, and they still have kept him there, and it's just kind of, you know, he's just not... And I find him to be really, the character in general, to be really overrated most of the time. Because it's just like, okay, he's, yeah, that's great and all, but he's not that cool. You know what I mean? Like, you know, there's just like, there's so many more interesting and cool characters than Daryl. No offense, I'm just saying. I'm not a Daryl fangirl. I never have been, never will be. I mean, I thought he was really cool back in the first few seasons, but then they started changing him and then I didn't like it anymore. Um, and so I'm just kind of indifferent to him now. I just don't really care. Um... Which sucks, because I, I don't want to, like, not care about characters, but I really don't care about him. Uh, so there you go. Uh, that's, um, another part to the q and I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that, um, I answered your question. If I didn't, I promise I will get to it one way or the other before this Q&A is done with. Yeah, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this. I'm going to go. I've got a lot of shit to do, as usual. Um, I just had a little bit of time this morning that I was free that I could do this, so I took that opportunity. So, yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, and I will see you all later. So, until next time, I'm Officer Friendly. Over and out.